how to measure intraocular pressure with diatom tonometer over the eyelid and over the sclera. The readings are independent of the corneal properties. The tonometer is operated uh, with a single button which goes on and off. It has a little floater on the bottom. The way you would hold the device is three fingers on one side and a thumb on the other like a flute. The way you would operate it, simply tilt back, this middle floater falls inside the body of the tonometer, you come back to initial position, there's a beeping sound. Beeping sound is an indicator for the user to find the vertical position. When, the, when you're vertical, the beeping stops. When you deviate from the vertical position, you have a beeping sound. When you're vertical, the beeping stops. With the patient, you could, have it, you could do the measurement in a sitting position. Sit the patient a little closer to the edge of the chair. Find back, you have a little bit more of an angle on the patient's back. Use alcohol swab between the patients. Simply wipe off the tip of the thermometer. Positioning of the patient is quite important. But again, you want to make sure uh, there's some angle on the patient's back in order to have less of an angle uh, on the head. Uh, the head should be as horizontal as possible. We extend the patient's thumb in front of them at approximately 45 degree angle. What we're doing is we're centering, centering the eye. Get the number into a ready position. Gently use the edge of your palm for support on the patient's forehead. Gently pull on the eyelid as it naturally opens, making sure that the edge of the lid is above the edge of the limbus. Uh, making sure that the edge of the lid does not slide onto the cornea. Place the tip of the tonometer uh, right at the edge, uh, right over the tarsal plate, and gently release downwards. Second reading, you would have minus two as a number of readings. Lastly, a third reading, and the device gives you a short beep uh, once it has enough data. So we took three measurements, press the center button, and we get the average of the readings. Okay, for the second eye, the patient is already positioned properly. You get again, uh, you are on the uh, left hand side of the patient if you are right handed. If you are right handed, you're left hand side of the patient because you want to make sure you're using the edge of your palm on the patient's forehead. That's for stability. Okay. Make sure the head is as horizontal as possible. Extend the finger at approximately 45 degree angle. Get the tonometer into a working condition. Here I use the index finger to pull on the eyelid. Here I go around patient's face and make sure I use the thumb, gently pulling it upwards. I use the edge of my palm for support. Place the tip of the tonometer right over the tarsus. Make sure it's in a vertical position. Make sure it's not uh, sliding onto the cornea. Take the first reading, second reading. Make sure the lid does not slide onto the cornea. We want to be above. We want to make sure the reading is done over the sclera, not the cornea. Three. The device gives you a long beep. Yet again, we took three readings. Press the center button. We get the average of the last three readings.